What's up guys, Carnage here, and let's check out Collapsed on Xbox. This game is published by Over Games and developed by Glaive Games. It releases on December 10th, 2021, and I don't have the pricing just yet, but on Steam it's actually $15, so I assume it's going to be around the same price on Xbox, but as soon as I get that information, I'll post it in the video description below. So Collapsed is a roguelike action platformer in a post-apocalyptic world. As you can tell by the title screen, it looks very cool and atmospheric. I'm excited to get into this one, especially since I heard it has twin-stick shooter mechanics. Uh, I actually tried the controls out, and they seem pretty good overall. The only thing is, I did have to use the Xbox Accessories app to remap the uh, jump button to the left bumper. Now, I wish that the game let you do this uh, manually. There is a control thing here I'll show you guys uh, that you can see. Although, they don't actually tell you, um, they don't let you remap the buttons here. You have to use the Accessories app, which is right here in, um, you know, the actual Xbox settings, and I pinned it to my home. Uh, but anyway, uh, not a big deal, but I definitely think that it could benefit from that, because some people that want to jump and aim at the same time, you can't really take your finger off A and then use the right stick to aim. Uh, at, you know, simultaneously. So I kind of do that in twin stick platformers. I always like jumping with left trigger or left bumper. Uh, in this case, dash is left trigger. That works fine, so I'm going to keep it as that. Uh, but yeah, the only thing is the jump is a little weird with A. So hopefully the developers can take it, take that into account and either let you remap all of the buttons in the game or, um, you know, at least change that, uh, that control. Uh, but I feel like giving people more options and remapping is definitely the way to go. So that would be cool if that's possible, but otherwise, um, yeah, let's jump into it from the very beginning. I'm excited to get into this game. Uh, I've only seen a little bit from it, but I heard good things, and uh, we're going to do the tutorial first. So, settings here, first of all, um, you see the basic music and sound options, and then the controls as we saw. Uh, there's credits, and of course, tutorial. And then we'll start the game for the very first time. Actually, <laughs> I started the game off stream uh, as I was testing the controls out. Uh, and we did get the one achievement, but let's go through the achievements real quick um, now that I'm on here. So kill a bunch of enemies. There's uh, a couple achievements towards that. Then there's story logs that you're going to find to build the story and the lore of the game uh, through these lost memories, apparently. Uh, and then kill enemies with one, five enemies with one hit. Uh, unlock 25 progress nodes, 50, 75. Uh, unlock all global progress. Okay, so like it's kind of a little Metroidvania style as well. In addition to roguelite, uh, I saw the map, and you know you kind of uh, explore, and it's kind of open ended a little bit until you want to clear out the everything on that floor and then move on. Uh, so it's it's somewhat Metroidvania, I would say. Uh, hunt down every single supreme enemy, almost like elite enemies, high level enemies. Uh, defeat a bunch of different bosses. There are achievements for that. Defeat a big boss with no damage. And then the, uh, there has to be an annoying hard achievement, and this seems like the one. Complete the game on any difficulty with no damage received. Uh, Rogue for 120. That uh, sounds really tough, although maybe with the right perks, it might be easier once you get like armor or other you know perks and abilities. We'll see. Uh, but for now, I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, we're going to jump right back to the tutorial here, and then we're going to start a... Start a game. Like I said, I got one achievement for starting the game. I didn't show you guys that one. Whoops. <laughs> um, there's one actual... Did I go into all of the achievements here? Okay, I totally did. I meant to just show you guys on here. Uh, let me show you guys here. The hunt has begun. You get one right away for just starting the game for 10 G. so that's cool. Alright, so we're starting out. You gotta jump first, and then you can look around. Move with left stick. Um, you can also move with the right right d-pad uh, I'm sorry the d-pad okay jump onto the wall now they say using a but I changed my button to left bumper so I'm gonna disregard that uh, just so I can aim better and jump at the same time so double jump as well and we got wall jumps so that's cool nice storage ahead what we get you can drop items with Y. Okay, pick X, uh, projectiles, ricochet. <coughs> Excuse me. So left, okay, if we hold down there, we can get through. Uh, this looks like a dash, yeah, you have to dash through that. Uh, inferior beings are in your way, wipe them out. Use LRT to shoot and RB for melee. 
So yeah, it is cool. There is, uh, it's funny they say press any button to continue, but it doesn't let you uh, until you press A or whatever you remap to A. Um, you do have limited ammo, as you can see at the bottom. And it looks like our health is the bottom left thing. Uh, the green canister is probably our health. Actually, no, the bottom left heart is our health. 150 out of 150. I'm not sure what the green canister 100 is yet. Uh, it looks like we can remap stuff to our buttons there. We have a map at the bottom, uh, back on the, or, or the double square button, or whatever you want to call it on Xbox. Let's you get to the other uh, inventory and stat screens and whatnot. Uh, and then we can see what we have in terms of stats. A lot of depth with the stats here, so that's cool. Uh, let's see, we have any items yet? We picked up something, but it's not letting me sort through that yet. I'm not sure. Okay, open up these and clear. Every trap will make you stronger. Okay, let's open the portal. There we go. I don't want to waste all my... Um, I get used to jumping here. There we go. Much better, though. Jumping with left bumper, I like it. Like I said, if you guys want to do that, definitely go in the Xbox Accessories app. Uh, you'll be able to find it through the settings and whatnot in the dashboard. But yeah, like I said, it would be cool if they implemented the remapping into the game itself. Let's see if there's anything up here before we go in. Nope. Alright, enter the portal. Now you're ready for the upcoming challenges. It's time to fulfill your mission. And on we go. That is the quick tutorial. Very nice, uh, short and sweet. Pretty, pretty much explains what you got to do. Uh, and yeah, we're going to start a new game pretty much right at the start. I didn't play any further after toying with the controls. So uh, this is right at the start here. There might have been like a, a short cutscene, but I don't want to spoil anything. So uh, you guys can check that out if you want to on your own. Uh, store your items here. All right. We got a sniper gun. What can we do with that? If we have these equipped, okay. All right, so we can get more things later. Upgrade new skills here. Wow, look at that skill tree. That's actually uh, a really large skill tree. Very cool. Uh, now there also I didn't I actually realized I did miss one thing showing you guys, but I will mention there are four different characters you could choose from. At least at the start, maybe there are more to unlock, I'm not sure. But uh, this character that I chose, uh, each one has a different we um, ranged weapon, melee weapon, and passive perks. Uh, and then of course you can upgrade those characters and items along the way. There's tons of uh, items and loot and perks and whatnot. Uh, it's a rogue light game, so you keep everything um, on your next run, even if you die, which is cool. Uh, and makes it more progression, uh, fun-oriented, basically, you know, if you're able to keep everything and keep going. That's what I like about Rogue Lights more than Rogue Like games, so I'm, I'm definitely glad they went that route. Uh, now here's the part where you can look at different memory logs and stories, and that might actually <laughs> bring us into the first main level. Um, so we're trying to collect memory log one. And we learned the lore along the way, I guess. Uh, find the true portal. Okay. Now, they are procedurally generated, uh, but the worlds themselves are going to be similar. So, uh, you know, you're going to see the same backgrounds. Well, not the same backgrounds. I heard there's like eight or nine different, um, you know, biomes, whatnot. So, yeah. Definitely excited, though. I like these kind of roguelite platformers. Um, we're going to try to not waste all our ammo. What is this, though? I don't know how to use that yet. Oh, shit. There is a spike pit. Um, if I was going for that achievement, I would have failed already, I think, for not getting damaged. But, like I said, I'm not, I'm not worried about that right now. Gotta get used to the game first, you know. And figure out what the trick is to do um, with that. So the map at the bottom, you can also pull up the map maybe with another button. Let me see. Um, okay, A is heal. If you hold A, you can heal there. Okay, so that's the green stuff that you use on the bottom left. Interesting. Well, like I said, it's A, but it's normally, I think, left bumper. But I, I remapped the controls. So, yeah. 
Okay, let's see. You can kind of stay on a wall, which is cool. You don't have to slide. Um, there's more loot right here. A lot of stuff already. Items picked up. I don't know what I picked up. I just too quick. Um, I, I do wish there was also a brightness setting. I know on my TV it could be a little dark, but I wish you could go, go in game and change more items around. I feel like there needs to be a little bit more in the way of accessibility in this game, but the actual premise and the gameplay seems cool. Okay, so this is not something we can destroy, I guess. So I like that you can... Oh, okay, I have to watch out for that. I like that you can kind of aim your ranged attack and your melee. So if you right bumper to melee, right trigger to shoot. Uh, you do have limited ammo at the bottom there, as you can see. Hopefully we'll get some more soon. There's some more health from things. There we go. Oh, there's some ammo right there, actually. I'm not too worried about shooting them now. Uh, definitely make use of that. Ooh, there's a chest up there. Let's try to get to that. Ooh, there's, okay, health as well. Uh, loot box. <laughs> Luckily not a microtransaction loot box. It's just a game, uh, in-game loot box. Uh, some, some of these things that I'm destroying that drop off of them, I think they look like things you could pick up, but they're just kind of debris or whatever. Uh, and you can hold in the stick, um, I'm sorry, the uh, right trigger to shoot. You don't have to spam it. You have to press those to pick those up, though. Heal up again. Oh, those disappear if you're not fast enough. Okay. I like that you can melee in the air, too, like that. That's awesome. Nice. Okay. Now, the meleeing, you can't hold in the right bumper, but right trigger shooting, you can. So, it makes sense, though. You gotta melee, you gotta hack and slash. Oh, shit. <laughs> also, I should dash more. Uh, you can't dash upward. You can only dash left and right at the moment, I guess. Did that guy just die by the uh, hazard on the level? I don't know how to view my whole map either yet. Um, let's see. Oh, left stick. It showed at the bottom right. So you can pull up the thing with left stick, and then you could actually leave it transparent as well. That's cool. Nice, I like that. The map looks pretty big, if that's where I am. Oh, the purple. I'm the purple icon on the map. Okay. I thought I was the yellow one. I see where I am now. Um, we're going to heal up. No, we don't. We have full health. Uh, we're going to open a... Actually, we're not going to open a portal yet. Uh, I do want to explore kind of the whole area here. There we go. Heal up some more. There we go. Oh shit, hello. What's that up there? Looks like a secret. Not quite. I need to be more mobile mobile with dashing and whatnot. I haven't been doing much of that. Uh, craft new items. Ooh. Um, I don't know... I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> craft... Uh, Maybe I don't have the resources yet? I gotta learn learn about that. Um, definitely seemed a little convoluted with all the information on screen there. Uh, exchange, it says. LB. Huh. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'll, f I'll figure that out later on. Um, maybe we can't do it yet. Now, the only thing I'm wondering is if we go in this portal and it's the correct one, will I not get to explore the rest of the map? So I don't want to go in there yet, because there are supposed to be three portals, unless it gives you the option to like go in, uh, or not go in, or whatever. 
but it's that over here. Okay, I, I actually like the map open in the back there. Oh, that was another item? Nope, it's just the enemy. Uh, what's this? I'm trying to figure out which way I want to go. Oh, there's a chest here. And yeah, you can dash through projectiles and uh, hazards without taking any damage. That's nice. Uh, we got some items here. Okay, you gotta jump and collect those with X. I think. I don't know. I just think I did that. Uh, so yeah, these orange things on the map are the portals. There are... It looks like three portals, and we gotta find the correct one, but I'm kind of still exploring around just to see what else we can find in the level. Uh, oh, we got an achievement there. I killed five enemies with one blow? Okay, I'll take it. I didn't think I did, but alright. Alright, cool. What'd we get here? I just... I'm picking up random things. I don't even know. We're getting melee damage. We're getting upgrades. We're getting all sorts of stuff here. Like, over here, we can take a look at it. Uh, equip it. Okay. Uh, melee damage is increased. Sure, why not? Let's just equip everything, can we? I mean, why wouldn't we? <laughs> so yeah, make sure you guys pick up, uh, equip stuff that you pick up there, like that. Okay. And you can turn the map off with the left stick in, if you click it in. Um, what's this? Some of these things in the background I think you can interact with, but they, they're not exactly. Uh, that's a different type of portal. Is this the real one? Oh, this is a memory node. Okay, we're gonna open this chest first. Uh, let's see if we can heal first and then take that. I guess so. I'm take the map off the screen now because we got a little bit next to There we go. Heal up again. And pick up some more juice, or whatever you want to call that stuff. There's another heart. Apparently it doesn't matter, I was full. Uh, what's up here? Oh, another chest. Oh, I got an achievement too. Another one, yeah, 100, 100 mobs, okay. Ooh, it's got some bullet hell too, cool. Not not a lot of bullet hell yet, of course, that was just a little bit. But I like the I like the pattern and whatnot. Uh, we got some like actual bullets to dodge and whatnot here. So let's see, we can go that way. Uh, anything else to pick up? Not yet, we have everything that we Okay, so there are three portals. We're gonna try going in the first one down here. I do like that you don't have to reload um, your gun either. It's just like ammo total. So the portal should be coming up here. Uh, we're gonna wait for that thing to pass. Is this the right portal? Oh, I don't know, there's enemies. Oh shit, whoops. That's not good. Oh shit. I need to heal. <laughs> oh man. I was not careful there. Healed all the way back up. Got a lot of items though. And obviously, they're not, you're not meant to be able to beat the game without getting hit for that achievement in your first run. Uh, especially since they said all of your progression, every run, carries over to your next run. So all your items and perks and upgrades 
will all carry over, making it a lot easier um, and doable. So I'm sure there's like a some kind of armor or thing where you don't get, you know, even if you lose through some armor, you don't actually take any real damage. I'm sure they have stuff like that. I, I don't know for sure, but I'm guessing, speculating. There, I was not careful, though. Definitely getting a uh, little getting used to it, but uh, I'm liking the combat. There we go. Portal is cleared. What do we got in this portal? Is that the real portal? Okay, that's the real one, but I want to actually explore the other one. That way we can get all of the items that we need. Uh, we got another item here. Killing enemies has a 20% chance to replenish 5% of the ammo. Let's equip that as well, uh, since we can on that open slot there. And yeah, there's one more portal up this way. I'm ready, let's go. Oh, that was not that was not a smart idea there. But okay. Okay, well, that was dumb of me. <laughs> Apparently I already died. So, yeah, I gotta get stronger still. Damn. But yeah, like I said, it goes on to the next run. You keep your stuff. So let's see, we should have everything... Yep, there we go. That's awesome. <coughs> so, excuse me there. Um, <clears throat> upgrade your skills and unlock new items. So now we can upgrade our... Tr we have things in our tree here. Uh, how do we upgrade that? I don't know if we can yet. Oh, we can. Okay. Uh, more damage. What else do we want? Is there anything here we could do? Uh, heavy boots, okay. I just want to see what other options we have to start with, or we have to go from there. Um, defense flask, armor. This can now be dropped in a level. Can we upgrade that? Not sure. I don't know how you do it exactly. So Y button upgrades, uh, switch panel. Okay. So that costs 400. We don't have that much. Definitely reminds me of like Rogue Legacy, uh, where you just keep upgrading your skill tree and getting stronger and stronger every run. Um, very cool. I like, I like this aspect. It definitely makes it more fun that you feel like you're making real progression and you don't lose everything. Uh, you basically keep everything and just move on to the next run and do better and get stronger and stronger. So I like this uh, mechanic of the game and we're gonna move on to our next run. You could also select the memory log in there and I think do a different uh, style thing. I'm not sure yet, but here we are now in gear facility one. So it looks different. Find the true portal. Oops. Not worrying about uh, no damage, right? Oh my god, this is not starting well at all. Gonna heal up a little bit. See, I'm already at 197. I have more health than before because I upgraded something there. Ow. 
I gotta get used to dodging more with the uh, left trigger. The, the button on that is fine. It's just me getting used to that one. Ooh, what's this? Eagle Pendant. Uh, let's take a look at that. Being midair grants Hawk a buff. Well, I'll put that on for sure. I mean, we have three slots there on that item. So that's cool. You get a buff for melee midair damage, apparently. So let's open this portal up. And... shows you where they're going to spawn, too. That's fair. They're actually fair in this game. They don't try to, like, troll you. Ooh, a lot of stuff. Holy shit. I don't know if it disappears, so I'm trying to trying to be quick about it. Um, what does this do? Can we fit that on? I don't know. We probably have to take something off to put that on. Um... That is for your armor, so if we take that off here and put that on instead, that's resistance. Um, nah, I'm actually going to put that on. How about this one? I'll have to mess with that later on, but there's a lot you can do comparing there if you want. And Okay, so that was a fake portal. Let's see which way we got to go up this way. picking up all the things and not worrying about it right now. Like, just find what I can. Okay, that's a dead end. Uh, can I equip any of those? Melee attacks push back stunned enemies. Now nah, I'm gonna keep that, uh, the other stuff for now. Cool. Heal up a little bit. We have some more juice anyway. I'm running low on ammo, though. I gotta find some more ammo pickups, hopefully, so I'm gonna try to conserve ammo. If I can. Give me some ammo. There, perfect timing. Uh, no, we didn't get it, we didn't get ammo from that. We got a upgrade, but we can put that right on here. Bullets penetrate three targets. Ooh, cool, so it goes through them. Nice. Now we got ammo back, a little bit. Not a lot, though. Uh, they they are not um, stingy with the loot in this game, which is awesome. They are given a lot of stuff. The only thing is I'm running low on ammo instead. Uh, craft new items. Let's see, can we make anything here? So there's a acid propellant. Oh, available items. Okay. Choose a recipe. Interesting. I have no idea, but I don't know how we can do that. I don't think we have the items for it. Disassemble three items to craft a new one. Hmm. Oh, if we exchange these things, we can make that? Is that what it is? I'm going to try that. Um, so the one we want to craft, I, I'm trying to figure out if this is the way to do it. Um, let's try getting rid of... We want projectile bounce, that's cool. Projectiles ricochet two times. 
So I'm gonna see if this works out. Uh, electric power plate. So we gotta get rid of three items. And then we're able to make that. I think that's how it works. We're gonna try it. Did that work out? Sweet, it did. That is awesome. Now our bullets bounce off walls twice. Cool. Okay, so I figured out how we can how we can craft items. Um, it doesn't exactly tell you that well, but I figured it out, so whatever. Why can't I pick that up? Okay, I gotta press X on it. I don't know if that's a good thing down here, or... Okay. Um, I'm liking that ricochet, though. That is cool. That is how you get the five... Five in one shot achievement if you didn't get it already, which I did. Oh shit, there's a supreme enemy, I think. Or yeah, a shield? I don't know. But yeah. Okay, cool. Uh oh. Haha, <laughs> you fell in the spikes. Heal up again. And we're gonna get ready to fight these portal enemies here, so I'm going to close the map so we can see better. Hell yeah. Oh, that was an easy portal. Especially with my ricochet shot. That is cool. Okay. So, now, which way? You gotta go up. Oh, there's a path up there, too. Okay. I mean, on the other side, too. Yeah, I gotta make use of that dash more like that. I mean, that's awesome. You can go right through them um, without taking damage. Oops. Another sword. Okay, we're gonna heal. Uh, we don't need to heal. Okay. I don't know what that was. Huh. Oh shit, that was a spike. secret, but a special enemy here. Let's see if we can get him. Okay, we got him. Now, I wonder if there's an achievement tracker. Let's see if the achievements actually track correctly. Uh, I don't believe they do, unfortunately, but not a big deal. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's not showing uh, <laughs> progress towards that. But uh, let's see which way we can go here. There's another portal there. We got two out of three. But there's another path on the bottom and the top as well. <clears throat> well, that guy's pretty uh, badass here. Is that a, another crafting thing? Oh, that's a memory node. So this tells uh, some of the lore and story stuff. Okay. There's another path up there too. I like to try to explore everything. Okay, not much up there.
Although there is a path um, the other way. There is going to be spikes down there, aren't there? Oh, there is enemies down there, okay. Um, okay. I'm liking that Pierce uh, upgrade and the Ricochet together. Very cool. There's so many different items and ways you can manipulate your, you know, perks and upgrades and make your weapons uh, totally different style um, and, you know, enhance them in, in all different types of ways. So there's a lot of depth to the game for sure. Uh, I do want to head back that way. I do wish there were kind of like the portals you can just teleport directly back to a, a spot you've been to already without traveling there again. I know Enter the Gungeon has that. Um, and of course some other games too. But that's not a big deal. Uh, what's a big deal is I fell on spikes. <laughs> and we're going to open this portal, but not go... Actually, we're not going to go in there yet. We're going to go back. We got to explore everything, guys. We gotta find that other path down there, which probably just leads to a dead end, but maybe there's something good there. Uh, I don't know. We'll find out. I gotta heal up, though. Okay. There's another way down there? Okay. No, not really. No, heal up a little more. Okay. So it wasn't totally a waste to go that way. Uh, although we only have nine ammo left, so I got to use my melee and make it count here, or my make my shots count if I want to use uh, any more ranged attack for now. Um, ooh, wait, is that a chest? No, I opened that one. What am I? I'm like seeing things. All right, we're gonna fight these enemies and hopefully make it to the next level. Here we go. Uh, not fall in the pit. I meant to jump up and not... Oh my god. Yeah, that was not a good move. That is not good. Not at all. I can't even see where I am. There's a lot of bullet hell. Holy shit. I mean, I cleared the portal, but I barely... <laughs> I don't know what I did there. But I made it. For now. Holy shit. Global progress tree does not only passively increase his character's power, but opens new items. Equip a selected ability to, into a global progress slot to passively increase the stat of a character. Interesting. Not fully sure I get all of that yet, but... Equip a selected ability into a global progress slot to passively increase the stat. Okay, so... There's ways to upgrade your character stats. Gear facility level 2. Let's see if we can get some ammo back. Uh oh, that's not good. That's not good. I need some health really quickly. Ah, shit. That's not good at all. Like I said, though, you know, if you if you you keep your items and stuff t to your next run, so it's just going to get easier and easier and more uh, more interesting. We definitely got some ammo back there, so hopefully we'll be good for a little bit longer. Try not to waste all of it in one place, though. These enemies are strong, though. Not ready for a portal yet. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Falling through 
through the floor a little bit is a little weird when you press down and I don't know, it's a little finicky. Not a big deal. Oh my god. Okay. Probably my fault. Uh oh, there's lasers. Okay. We are not going that way yet until we get some more health back. I'm gonna fill up a little bit more on the green energy thing. And then head this way. Oh shit. Okay, they didn't tell you you can crouch, but you can. Looks like that's the end of the run there but as we uh, grow stronger and stronger we move on and uh, try try again is the uh, the motto of this game but um, yeah it seems like a pretty cool game it definitely uh, like I said the control stuff I wish you could remap that's my main gripe with the game uh, but otherwise it seems like it has a lot of variety and depth and replayability since you can keep you know trying over and over uh, getting stronger every time every run and uh, it seems like a solid roguelite game. That's exactly what you would expect out of a roguelite anyway. Uh, just being able to keep your, progr your progress and move on and get stronger. Uh, and it's fun. So I'm enjoying it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this look at, uh, at the game Collapsed. Um, it's, out, it's out now on Steam and Switch, but it's coming out very soon. This is the Xbox version coming out very soon as of this recording um, on December 10th, 2021. Uh, like I said, I don't know the price just yet, but I will post that information as soon as it becomes available. Uh, so yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, thanks again also to Overgames for providing a review copy. And uh, yeah, thanks again uh, for watching the video. If you did enjoy it, feel free to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe for more content and hit that notification bell to stay updated on my new videos. Uh, so yeah, thanks again, guys, and I'll see you next time.